Hello, and welcome to episode 90 of Rivers Arcade Review. My name is Ed. My channel is dedicated to the coin-operated video games of yesteryear. Today I'm doing a viewer request, Missile Command. This game was requested by Kimberly Haveman. Missile Command was released in 1980 by Atari. My first time playing this game was at a mom and pop pizza restaurant in Oak Lawn, Illinois. Missile Command is a third person shooter in which you control a missile target with a trackball and three fire buttons. You need to shoot down a continuous barrage of incoming missiles and enemies all while protecting the cities at the bottom of the playfield. You are in control of three missile bases at the bottom of the playfield. There's one base in the center and two bases on the outside edges. The bases are named left to right Alpha, Delta, and Omega. Each base will contain 10 defensive missiles. The Delta base will fire missiles three times faster than the Alpha and Omega bases. You control the aiming of the missiles via the trackball, which controls a crosshair on the playfield. You control the firing of the missiles with one of the three buttons, which control which bases you fire from. Pressing one of the buttons will lock in the missile and there will be an X mark left on the playfield. Once your missile reaches the target you locked in, there will be an explosion on the playfield that will destroy the enemies that are falling downward. When an enemy missile explodes, it will also cause an explosion that will also destroy enemy missiles. When one or more of your bases is down to three missiles, you will hear a warning and the word low will be displayed underneath it. Once you fire all ten missiles from one base or they are destroyed by enemy fire, the word out will be displayed and you will not be able to fire from that base for the rest of the level. You need to defend six cities at the bottom of the playfield. There are three cities on both sides of the Delta base. The cities are defenseless other than your three missile bases. Management settings allow for the game to begin with four, five, six, or seven cities. If the gameplay begins with seven, you will have one city in reserve if one of the cities gets destroyed. Each level begins with a series of incoming missiles that are aimed at your cities as well as your missile bases. You need to aim your missiles to destroy the incoming missiles. You need to have your missile explosion hit the beginning of the missile trail because if you only strike the trail of the missile, it will continue to fall downward. If an enemy missile hits one of your cities, the city will be destroyed. If an enemy missile strikes one of your bases, all of the remaining missiles will be destroyed. If all cities are destroyed and you don't have any cities in reserve, your game will end. Each level has a limit of three cities that can be destroyed, although the cheat code I used for filming caused a glitch that shows all cities being destroyed, although this does not happen during normal gameplay. Once all the incoming missiles have been destroyed or hit the ground, the level will end. After each level ends, you will earn bonus points for each missile and city remaining. Beginning with Wave 2, there will be a new enemy which is the Killer Satellite. This killer satellite will enter from either side of the playfield. The satellite will fly straight across the playfield. This satellite will also fire missiles at your cities and missile bases. If the enemy missiles hit the satellite, they will not destroy it. Shooting the satellite will earn you points, although you do not have to destroy them for the level to end. Level 3 will add a new enemy, which is the bomber. The bomber is a plane that flies across the playfield just like the killer satellite. The bomber will also drop missiles to destroy your cities and missile bases. Just like the satellite, you can shoot these bombers for points, although you don't need to shoot them for the level to end. Level 3 will also begin the multiplication of scores. The first two levels are 1 times the base scores. Once you reach level 3, the scores will be 2 times the base scores, and the multipliers will increase every two levels until you reach level 11, which is 6 times the base scores. Once you reach the 6 times multiplier, all future levels will be scored at 6 times until levels 255 and 256, which I will cover later in the video. Once you reach level 6, you will face a new enemy called the Smart Bomb. These Smart Bombs will not just fall into an explosion. The Smart Bombs will either hover above the explosions or they will move around them. You need to have your missile explode just below or exactly on the Smart Bombs to destroy them. Once you reach level 15, the game will reach maximum difficulty and every further level will remain at the hardest difficulty. Every two levels, the color palette will change. This color change won't affect the gameplay, but it gives your eyes a rest from staring at the same color level after level. There are 10 different color palettes in all. Once all color palettes have cycled through, they will repeat in the same order. During a two-player game, the players will change after each level. This means after all the enemy missiles and smart bombs have either been destroyed or hit the ground, that player's turn is ended and the other player will play. This will continue until one player loses all their cities. As I mentioned earlier in the video, if you are able to reach level 255, the game takes on a big change. 
The first thing that is different is the score multiplier displays zero times. This level will have the difficulty of level 15, although the scoring will be 256 times the base scores. If you clear this level, you will face another zero times level, although this time there will be no enemy missiles or bombs fired at your cities and bases. As soon as the level begins, you will be awarded bonus points for all 30 missiles as well as your remaining cities. After the bonus points are awarded, you will be returned to the first level with one time scoring and the easiest difficulty. There's one more glitch in this game. When your score reaches 800,000 points, and every time the score rolls over to another 800,000, an additional 176 bonus cities will be added to your stock, although I couldn't duplicate this glitch for this video. Once all of your cities have been destroyed, the game will end. Unlike games of the time, the game will display the words THE END in a large explosion signifying the end of the world. If your score beats one of the top 8 scores, you won't receive the THE END message. Instead, you will receive the message Great Score. Scoring for the game is as follows. You will earn 25 points for each missile you destroy, 100 points for each bomber and killer satellite, and 125 points for each smart bomb destroyed. You will earn a bonus of 5 points for each remaining offensive missile, and 100 points for each remaining city. These points will be multiplied by the bonus multiplier that is displayed at the beginning of each level. You will earn a bonus city for every 10,000 points you earn, although this can be changed by management settings from 8,000 points to 20,000 points by 2,000 point increments, although a 15,000 point setting replaces the 16,000 point setting, as well as there is a setting for no bonus cities. Unlike most games of the time, there are two different categories for the Guinness World Record. The first category is the Marathon Mode, in which you begin the game with 6 cities and receive a bonus city every 10,000 points. The second category is the tournament setting, in which you begin the game with 6 cities and receive no bonus cities at all. I really like this game, although I was never very successful at it, but I do recommend playing it, especially if you can find it in an arcade setting, since playing on emulators with a keyboard or a mouse doesn't do the game justice. I enjoyed this game more than Astro Fighter, but not as much as Super Glob, so Missile Command fires its way into the 57th position overall. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any games you'd like me to review, please leave a message below or on my homepage. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned to new videos every Wednesday and Sunday.